When I was 14 years old, I was diagnosed with a heart condition that occurred because a virus attacked my heart, causing it to be weakened. I came to Northwestern for my annual checkup, and the physician said, um, you know, your mitral valve is leaking, and we need to repair that in order to, you know, help your heart pump better. Um, so that surgery was a success, but my heart never bounced back. The doctors had mentioned that if it doesn't work, you might need a transplant. And that was the first I had heard about ever needing a heart transplant. Because I was so sick, I was a priority, and I was lucky enough to receive a heart in 15 days. Everybody was excited. There were five nurses in my room, like, doing cheers. And we, uh, we called all our friends and family. and. Um, we just were so thankful that, that it was you know, our turn to, to start life because that's really what happened. We are the number one program in Illinois in terms of heart transplantation. Although our program is fairly new, our team is very uh, experienced. Uh, all surgeons on the team have, uh, uh, could be program directors in terms of the numbers of transplants that they have done. Uh, we've all received uh, special training in transplant and we all provide the full gamut of surgical options available to the patient with heart failure. Obviously physically I can do a lot more. My husband and I have taken up golf pretty seriously. I've always golfed but I've never been strong enough to be good at it until now. We've been able to show people through my story um, in living color what this gift does and what organ donation does because it's hard to understand unless you see it happen in your own life. It's a great honor and a privilege to work with people like Melissa, especially when you see how well they're doing. Those on the receiving end are very grateful people for those who have given and those who have given feel peace in that they've left a legacy of their loved one behind by you know, offering this and saving someone's life and giving them a future.